Um, this is uh, like a painting. Oh, it's like a painting. Yes. <gasps> all the snails. Um, oh, this has all the sports. Yes. Oh, that's Here very beautiful. The, the when you get a picture framed in China, it comes on a scroll like this. So these stamps are framed. And this is another special edition release. It ha the stamp itself are the red ones with the Olympic symbol on there, the official Olympic symbol. But in between, you see all the different friendlies. And they're playing all the different sports. So this is really a nice piece. It's 380 yuan. I have to do the math here. It's about $50. This is about $50. But of course, it's worth a lot more than the stamps having been framed and something so special, probably in limited release as well. But can Olympic enthusiasm light a fire under today's lackluster collectible stamp market? We hope in the U.S., stamp collecting is a quaint hobby that's largely fallen off the public radar. It's a lot more popular in China. Today, China Post is offering a wide variety of Olympic products to stamp enthusiasts at home and abroad. The limited edition Beijing 2008 collector sets number in the millions. If that doesn't sound very limited to you, remember, that has to satisfy stamp collecting enthusiasts worldwide. 在我们这个局呢，呃，经常会有外国人来光顾我们这个局，买一些优品，比如说像明信片。刚才您记得这个明信片，就在经常是有，而且我这个营业员呢，基本英语都会。两千零八年奥运会的时候呢，我们这个包
But let's say you're already a major domestic player. For you, the Olympics are a chance to run with the international big dogs, if you can afford it. 所有的电脑设备都是由我们来提供的。那么在北京奥运会上，我们会提供估计超过一万台甚至两万台的电脑。Lenovo is Asia's best-selling PC manufacturer. The company became an Olympic partner in 2005 by committing to support the games at the highest level. That means paying 60 million dollars U.S. and providing computers, servers, internet lounges, and technology infrastructure for other partners and sponsors. More than 40 percent of Olympic marketing revenue comes from sponsors like Lenovo. Without sponsors, no Olympic Games. The revenue from sponsors can well cover the budget, the、uh, expenditure of the Olympic Games in Beijing. That's no problem. Lenovo had its first taste of sponsorship at the 2006 Torino Games. And is it true that Lenovo is the very first Chinese business to ever join the Olympic Partner Program? 很多人都是这样说，而且也确实是这样。联想过去呢，我们是啊、呃、一家在中国成长起来的企业，但是我们现在已经呃变成了一家真正的国际性的企业。我们在全球六十六个国家有这个我们的分支机构。What ways will Lenovo be involved in the games? It's more than money, right? 像你所说的，当然我们的参与，呃，不仅仅是钱，更重要的就是我们的技术能够为奥运会的这种啊、呃、这个稳定，而且是安全，而且是这样的一个成功的运行起到非常好的作用。What kind of computer equipment and technology will Lenovo be providing to the games? 首先，我们包括了呃 desktop， 也就是台式电脑，还有笔记本电脑，还有就是啊、呃、服务器，还有就是打印机呃等等的产品。In return for these goods and services, the high-tech giant gets to use the Olympic mascots and logos in its own marketing, and first dibs on buying commercials during the Olympics, and that adds up to international exposure. Do you see your participation in the games as a risk at all? Uh, we think this is also a chance to give us a chance to get exposure. Olympic sponsorship means Lenovo also has the opportunity to team up with powerhouses like Coca-Cola, one of the world's most recognized brands. And speaking of Coca-Cola, this is their Olympic billboard. This says, "It's up to you to feel good." This is Liu Xiang, China's first ever Olympic athlete to win gold in track. I'll bet he's raking in the endorsement dollars. And these are the Chinese characters for Coca-Cola. This Coca-Cola laptop might be the first peek at a Coke Lenovo Olympic partnership. Could an even smaller model called a Diet Coke laptop be far behind? Okay, the marketing is probably best left to the experts, who say that if Lenovo's Olympic sponsorship gamble pays off, they could reap the same reward Coke realized in the 1996 Atlanta Olympics: 200 million U.S. dollars. Ms. Lee says there may also be some in-house benefits. 这个机会呢是千载难逢的，这是第一次在中国举行奥运会，所以在这样一个机会能够参与到奥运会的这个项目当中来，为奥运会来做出呃更多的贡献，这是我们的责任，而且也是我们的机会。Lenovo is a household name in China, but not in the rest of the world. Come August of 2008, that's likely to change.